Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's my friends, we're going to be going through the 10 most tryhard pickaxes in Season 9 of Fortnite. Now, you know, I think pickaxes are some of the most interesting cosmetics to talk about. There's so many really cool pickaxes, and, you know, I think, you know, specifically this season, we have some really cool pickaxes to talk about in this video, and some some pickaxes that I find to be really tryhard, and, you know, when I see pro players play, I see them using these pickaxes. When I get wrecked by someone in-game and I'm spectating them, uh, I see them pull out this pickaxe, you know, these are the pickaxes that, that I see, you know, when gods just use them, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be really cool. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also chuck on that notification bell to update with all of my videos coming in the future of the channel. And also, if you do want to help me out that extra bit, make sure to use the Porter Creator Code CosmosFTW inside of the item shop um, when you're going to buy any other skins. But yeah, guys, without waiting long, let's go ahead and begin this video in our number 10 spot. All right, guys, now taking the number 10 spot, this is a pickaxe that I still think is fairly tryhard, even though it's not as rare as it used to be. This is actually the Candy Axe in the number 10 spot, guys. So the Candy Axe, I think, you know, this would probably take, you know, it'd be in the top probably three um, before it did re-release, of course, last Christmas. Um, it was a really rare pickaxe before then, and not many people had this. But, you know, I still see a lot of people using the Candy Axe, and usually they're pretty good players when they do use the candy axe so it's something that i definitely thought i needed to add on the list although it's probably not the most tryhard pickaxe you know i definitely think it should be in the top 10 um, most tryhard pickaxes in the game because you know i see a lot of people still using this pickaxe and going around and you know try hard and sweating up with this pickaxe all right ladies and gentlemen now the number nine spot this is what you know one of my favorite pickaxes in the game i love this pickaxe so so much and you know i would classify this as a try hard pickaxe and you know i see a lot of comments on my videos talking about this as well like whenever i do videos about pickaxes um it's actually the icebreaker pickaxe in the number nine spot now this one is really cool this pickaxe because it's kind of like a shovel you know it's different to all the other axes because all the other axes are, of course, you know, axes, but this one is, you know, it's like a shovel. It's really cool, and, you know, I think that's probably why a lot of people seem to buy it, because it was, it's, you know, it's something different, you know, people like something different, and, um, yeah, I think it's a very, very tryhard pickaxe, and I'm sure you guys can probably agree with me on that one as well. I do actually see this fairly often. I think it's fairly popular, and, you know, a lot of sweaty people do use the icebreaker in-game. Alright, number 8 spot, another really, really popular pickaxe that a lot of people seem to use. This is the studded axe in the next spot on the list, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the studded axe is another one of my favorite pickaxes as well. For the main reason, as it's got, you know, a really, really nice sound. Like, you know, the sound's not too loud, not too quiet. Um, you know, it's a really, it's a really nice sound. And, you know, of, of course, it looks amazing. And it matches really well with a bunch of different combos. So, if you're comboing and you're looking for a pickaxe to combo with, man, you know, this is really like the way to go it looks absolutely great with so many different combos and that's why i think you know a lot of pro players and stuff do use the studded axe and you know that's why a lot of people use the studded axe um and yeah dude i would have to say yeah, it's, it's one definitely one of the most try hard pickaxes in the game and yeah it is in that spot on the list all right following up from the studded axe we've actually got a fairly new pickaxe which i think is really really try hard um, however, this is the Widow's Bite. This is something that, you know, I, I added on the list because I think, personally, it's a pretty try-hard pickaxe, you know. As, of course, that Marvel uh, pickaxe that did come out, um, it probably, how long ago was it now? Probably like a month, maybe a month and a half uh, ago, uh, we saw this release, and, you know, it looks great. I love it. Um, and, you know, I found this to be really try-hard in-game, you know, once again, it combos really well with, if you like rocking, like, red skins and stuff, or rocking, like, the red shield as a back bling, or, you know, any skin that has any bit of red in it, this, uh, pickaxe just goes perfect with it, and I see so many people using it, and, you know, in my opinion, I think it's probably one of the newer, uh, most try-hard pickaxes in the game, and I'm sure you guys can agree with me on that, but, you know, this pickaxe, absolutely great, and it's there in that spot on the list. It's a very sweaty axe. All right, the Flawless is the next pickaxe on our list, and the Flawless is a flawless harvesting tool. It really is. It is great. Um, and, you know, this was actually a Battle Pass, a Battle Pass, um, pickaxe, and I think, you know, this is... I see this a fair bit now, especially as soon as we're a season on and everyone's had the chance to get this pickaxe. So many people rock it, man, and it is just such a try-hard pickaxe. I swear, anyone that uses the Flawless 
is just an absolute beast at the game, or at least, you know, really being really try hard to try be a god at the game. Like, dude, I swear, man, flawless, absolutely insane pickaxe. Like, you know, it looks great as well. It seems to be all the pickaxes that look great, you know, all the gods are just attracted to them. And then you see the bots using, like, that big slurp juice. Um, like, like me, you know, I rock that slurp juice uh, pickaxe, you know, the pick squeak. Um, the pickaxes that I rock, they seem to be the, the ones that the noobs use. But, yeah, these ones that just, you know, look really clean and are really kind of like plainish, I guess. But, you know, plain, but, you know, detailed and just great. Um, it seems to be all the ones that all the sweaty players use. And then, yeah, you know, players like me use all the other ones. So, yeah, guys, that is that spot on the list right there with the flawless pickaxe. Now, this is kind of like what I said with the, uh, the candy axe. Um, you know, it was a really, really rare pickaxe in the game until it did re-release. You know, the Reaper Axe is going to be next up on the list. You know, of course, very, very clean as well. Very great looking. Probably the original, the OG, um, try-hard pickaxe, I guess. This used to be, you know, one of the most hyped up things. People went crazy about the Reaper Axe. Um, of course, it did return last Halloween and, you know, ever since then. It hasn't been as try-hard, but, you know, still, you know, just like the soccer skins, even though the soccer skins re-released, they're still really try-hard, if not even more try-hard than they were before they were released. And, um, you know, I think the same goes there for the Reaper Axe. Very, very try-hard pickaxe. It, it has been really ever since you know, probably the start of last year, it's been one of the most try-hard pickaxes in the game. It's something that just everyone uses, everyone gets really hyped up about, and, you know, it definitely had to be added on the list, so there it is in that spot right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the business end of the list now, and, you know, these are the pickaxes that, you know, stand up above all else, and we have in the number four spot the default pickaxe. Of course, if you're using the default pickaxe, you're going to be good at the game, okay? Because, you know, everyone has a skin. No matter whether you just started today, you're going to manage to get a free skin or a battle pass skin. You know, basically everyone should own another pickaxe. And, you know, if you're using the default pickaxe, you know, you're, you're trolling. You're out here trolling, all right? No one, no one uses the default pickaxe without trolling, okay? You know, we've all done it. And 100%, when people are trolling, they're going to try and catch their opponents by surprise and, you know, just be an absolute beast at the game. I honestly don't see too many people use the default axe. But when I do, you know, I, I, I get very scared, you know, I get very scared. I might as well just lead the game because the second I see someone using this pickaxe, I just get absolutely destroyed, you know. It's, it's not a fun time. But the default axe, you know, definitely, just like the default skin, people use it to troll people, you know, and you, you see sweats in disguise using these cosmetics. All right, the number three spot, I think this is a really try-hard pickaxe because it is, you know, kind of rare, you know. And, you know, this in a number three spot is the instigator pickaxe. And, you know, if you guys had this, you're very, very lucky. Because I think it's, you know, a great looking pickaxe. It goes so many, so well with so many different skins. And, you know, this pickaxe right here, of course, the instigator, you know, it came with the Fortnite plus the Twitch Prime pack. So if you, you know, got the Twitch Prime skins, like the original ones, like the Havoc and the Sub Commander and stuff. I mean, if you got those skins, you would have got the instigated pickaxe as well, which, you know, this was ages ago, absolutely ages ago that these released and these were last available such a long time ago. So I think this is, you know, one of the rarest pickaxes in the game at the moment. And, um, you know, I can't see it returning either. So, you know, if you guys have this pickaxe, I think it's a very try hard pickaxe. And, you know, if people had this, they've been playing the game for a long time. And, you know, if they're still playing it now, you know, they must be pretty darn good at the game. They've been playing for like, you know, over a year nonstop. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is in the number three spot with the instigator pickaxe, of course. That amazing red and black pickaxe looks absolutely fire. And yeah, it's there in the number three spot. All right, next up in the number two spot, we have the Axe Caliber. Of course, the Axe Caliber, another pickaxe that's at the top of the list because of its rarity as well. The pickaxe that, you know, if you see someone using the Axe Caliber, um, you know, they've been obviously playing since season two, which is, you know, a fair. It's been ages since season two now. It's been ages. We're in season nine. Um, and if you're, you know, using the Axe Caliber, you're, you're most likely going to be a sweat at the game. And in my experience, you know, people using the Axe Caliber have been a sweat. However, you know, I find people that are using the ACDC, you know, are usually bots. So, I don't know. It's weird like that. Although the ACDC is also kind of rare. It's from Season 2. You know, people that use it just seem to be bots. However, you know, the Axe Caliber is just a totally different story. It's it's just a really, really try-hard pickaxe. I don't know. That's why I didn't put the ACDC on the list, because I thought, you know, in my personal experience, I haven't found it too try-hard at all. However, the Axe Caliber, you know, it, it's definitely up there. It's one of the most try-hard, and that's why I have it there. On the number two spot on that on this list, and I'm sure you guys can all agree with me 
on that one. All right now, the number one spot, I think this had to take the number one. Like, you know, this is the most try hard pickaxe in the game. We have the Stellar Axe in the number one spot, of course. Came with the Galaxy Pack. You know, really, the only people I see ever using this are streamers. And, you know, the streamers, of course, they're tryharding. They need to be as sweaty as possible to entertain the viewers, all right? And, you know, I see so many using the Stellar Axe. It's a scary pickaxe to come across in game. It really is. It stands out. You can see it from a mile away. And, you know, it is scary. It's something you don't want to be messing around with. And, you know, I really wish I had the Galaxy Pack myself. I never had the chance to be able to get it, which definitely does suck for me. But, um, you know, it's something that I'm going to forever want. But, ladies and gentlemen, the number one spot there, of course, we have the Stellar Axe. So, thank you guys for coming out to today's video. That's going to go ahead and conclude it. If you did enjoy it, uh, make sure you do go ahead and smash the like button as well. Subscribe to the channel. And also, you know, show that extra support by chucking the notification bell. And, of course, if you guys are going to buy any of these pickaxes or any other skins in the item shop, make sure to use code COSMOSFTW. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and do that. That would be absolutely amazing. And also, you know, if you have any other tryhard skins that you think I missed or any other tryhard skins that you think in your Fortnite experience are really, really tryhard, make sure you do comment them in the comment section below. Be interested to hear what you guys do have to say. But anyway, thank you all for coming out to today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out.